What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hoopers, non-hoopers, basketball aficionados, and all people who love things basketball. Welcome back. Nice to see you. It's been a long time. My apologies. I know I've been away. I know I haven't been cranking out the content like I usually do. Let me tell you how we got here. I've done plenty of reviews on shoes in regards to their style and performance. I've done the same thing for basketballs. The thought, let me expand. Let me expand the number of items or the number of things that I'm going to review because the game of basketball is so much bigger than just the basketball you use and the shoes that you wear. There is a ton of other equipment involved. That's why today, my friends, we are going to talk about all these socks. I did that for dramatic effect. Don't know how it's gonna turn out in edit. Hopefully it looks real cool. Anyway, we are talking about socks. Why? Great question. For me, socks have always been an integral part in regards to the equipment I wear for basketball. The shoes that I wear are only as comfortable and in my estimate or in my opinion, ah, there it is. In my opinion, the socks play a huge role in how comfortable and how much performance you're willing to get out of the shoe. My favorite of the group, and that's because I'm biased. I'm biased because they're local. I'm biased because I've met the people who work on and operate the company. I'm biased because my homie used to work there, right? But it's a great fucking sock. I'm not gonna lie to you. Stride Line, if you have not heard of the company Stride Line, Stride Line is a, I guess we could say a Seattle based sock company that has been producing awesome socks for years. And I was lucky enough to come across my favorite pair of Stride Line socks. I'm gonna pop these things open. Now, what I love about this sock is that unlike Nike, that is a sports apparel and performance company, Strideline is a sock company through and through. Their focus is on socks. You know what? I gotta cut this because if I, if I pull this, I'm gonna destroy the socks. I'm gonna be so hurt. So I'm just gonna keep it like... Let's talk about the socks. I love these socks because it offers everything that I need in a sock without having to add extra that I don't need or take away from something that I absolutely do. When it comes to fit, it, this is gonna sound bad, but I've never put on a sock tighter than a stride line sock on the first wear. And that sounds bad, but it's good because that tells me that over time, these socks aren't going to stretch and lose their elasticity. You're gonna be able to have these socks for a long time. The only thing that's gonna to happen to these socks is that you're either gonna get a hole in them, someone's gonna steal them, or you're gonna lose them. Because otherwise, these socks are gonna last you a long time. I just got rid of probably the last pair of first set of socks that I got from them like four or five years ago. And it wasn't because they were unwearable. The elasticity was still there. I just have so many more socks now that I kind of have to start rotating them in and out. So I, you know, Goodwill, Value Village, Salvation Army, all that, giving a whole bunch of, of you know, clothes away. But those, somebody's still gonna be able to wear those socks and wear them for at least another two or three years. That's how long these socks will last you. It's almost like an investment with Strideline socks. Now, a combination of the two previous socks will give you an idea of what we got with this one. Now, I'm not gonna make this too much of an ad where I'm talking about, you know, all the tech, but 
I guess I'm gonna have to go into a bit of the design because it's very different. So, like the other socks, we've got support in the toes. We've got, um, you know, a lockdown along the, the top, the high ankle, so that it's not gonna, the sock's not gonna slide up and down. We've got extra, extra elasticity along the top of the sock. As you can see, they've added just another layer to make sure that that sock doesn't get lazy around the neck. A lot like the stance socks, there is, uh, you know, like a cross-woven breathability design. Very different, very different than the stance socks, but effective nonetheless. Now what's different between the other socks in stride line is the design around the arch of the foot. Now the stance socks had kind of a lockdown all the way around. The Nike Elite had maybe one or two spots for the lockdown. Stride line has completely just taken the focus of the arch and made it a centerpiece of their sock. So as you can see on the design of the sock, we've got this vertical design at the middle of the top of the sock. We've got horizontal kind of breathable, um, you know, I guess lines with additional cushion along the arch and then a small vertical um, section along the bottom of your foot. Now, you look at this and basically what this, what this means is that you put this stride line sock on, your foot's not moving in it. Your foot's not moving in that sock until you take the sock off. Now, for some, that may not be great. For me, I love it. One last thing for me to think about, I get all of the comfort out of the sock that I need, or not out of the sock, I get every bit of comfort out of the shoes that I'm wearing that I need without losing any feel on the court or feeling like I'm losing in some sort of performance. Stride Line currently sells, I, is this a regular crew sock? This might be the, the new version or the older version. Either way, I think that this is a great sock for you to pick up. Either way, I think this is a great sock to have. If you're looking for just a great sock that you can wear for any sport, not necessarily just basketball, or just a sock that you want to wear that's a great investment over time, Stride Line, baby. Shout out to you guys.